So when we talk about Appalachia, if you've uh, followed our presentations and our reporting over the last few years, uh, this, is, this should be a graphic that's familiar to you. And this is really the long haul infrastructure growth through the end of the decade. And again, I, I keep saying this, this is the greatness of America in one chart, right? Because it is absurd to grow uh, within five years, natural gas transportation capability by 13 BCF, and yet uh, you've done it already and you're gonna do it again. Uh, we only include pipes that are going through the constraint, right? So these are pipes that are crossing between the white areas and the gray areas. Those are the only ones that we model. And for the first time this year, we're only including contracted natural gas capacity, not design capacity. So this is already locked in what we consider low risk. What we don't consider low risk is the timing. And again, for the first time, we've made our own timing assumptions. So the one thing that I want you to look at here is that big block that's showing up in Q1 2018. That's the three rover destinations. So this is broken up by destination. Uh, we've got three and a quarter BCF of rover, and we've got 1.7 BCF a day of Atlantic Sunrise. Those come on in Q118. And as Alex pointed out, we don't have a rig count that can yet fill all that capacity, right? So this presents kind of an opportunity for the long-standing Appalachian basis differential problem to go away. Uh, but will it go away sooner? And so that's kind of been our discussion because there is still another four BCF a day coming before that. And uh, so our analysis then, what we do is we stack up all of this new long haul pipe infrastructure uh, against the demand constraint as well. And so the combination local demand, because remember this is one of the largest gas consuming regions of the world,